So I just left my appointment, my lymphatic massage appointment. Um, I did a lot better this time. She was able to work on my stomach because last time she couldn't because I kept passing out. Um, this time I did not pass out. My migraines are really bad. I think that's the worst pain right now. So I got some caffeine. You probably could hear the kids in the background. We do have the kids. Um, right when we got to our appointment, they all had a pee and that made us late to our appointment. It's a nightmare. Um, anyways, we're making mac and cheese for the kids right now because we do have a microwave in the hotel. Uh, like I said, my biggest thing right now is just my migraines, but I think I'm doing a lot better and hopefully this will help. We'll see. It's also not good for me to have a lot of caffeine, so I'm only gonna drink maybe half of it. Um, and I'm trying to eat as much as possible because I know it's gonna help with my iron levels. So there's my update on day, what's today? Day three? Day three. Probably not the best thing to eat, but anything I can keep down is great. <laughs> I'm trying to eat as much as possible in this recovery. I don't know how to lay to where my neck doesn't hurt. Like this is definitely gonna hurt my back, but if it hurts my necklace, I don't care. This is the most painful part is trying to figure out how to lay. We're on day three of healing. The only reason why I'm talking and filming is because I took an Excedrin migraine. My migraine the past 24 hours was worse than the surgical pain. My front of my stomach doesn't hurt at all where I had the revision of the tummy tuck. My butt is sore and I feel tight after my lymphatic massage, but it's like nothing crazy. The most painful thing is just my migraines and necks like as I'm trying to get in position because you can't sit on your butt, which is so odd. You think it's no big deal, but I'm only on day three and I feel like I'm going crazy and I have to do this for six to eight weeks. The zero gravity chair is helping, but sometimes my legs fall asleep in it and you just want to sit down and you can't. So that's a horrible thing. Um, stop taking the, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the word. I stopped taking the prescription drug, the hardcore one that the doctor gave me. Honestly, it wasn't doing anything because I wasn't in that much pain. I just had a migraine so bad. So I thought I had to still take it. I stopped taking it and I took Excedrin. I'm just gonna stay with my Excedrin and I have Tylenol if I need it. I've heard horror stories about a BBL right now. I'm gonna knock on wood because I was so fine the day I got out of surgery. It's not the surgical pain, it's the migraines. I don't know if it's because my blood pressure keeps dropping because I keep fainting with certain things that's giving me more migraines, but that's my only concern. I did get a lymphatic massage earlier today. Um, and this time I did not pass out with my first one. I did pass out three times, so almost did. Um, I was able to stand the whole, the, do the whole thing. Um, but at the end I did get really woozy. And I had to stop for a second. So I can't stand up very long still. So this might be contradicting. So yes, I'm not in a lot of pain, but when I stand up, I'm very woozy. Like my iron levels are still really low. I'm trying to eat a lot of protein. I'm not vegan and vegetarian this week. I'm trying to eat as much protein, as much meat and all that, and lentils and all that kind of stuff in my body. Um, migraines are horrible, but we're doing it, man. Um, sleeping has been really difficult. I keep going, I just take cat naps all day and then the kids screaming with my migraine is just like horrible. I've never had a migraine like this, so. I think that's it with me ranting and rambling.